Welcome back to the juxtaposition. I'm your host, Nana. This is the I best don't know podcast why you had to in the say world. Back. Like this that. is the best podcast in the world. And I'm along. <laughs> I'm alongside. I'm alongside my two co-hosts that are so Stop. annoying. Stop. Why are you touching us? Don't touch, you me. don't touch me. Don't touch me. No, don't touch don't us. Touch me. <laughs> back. Episode 20. <laughs> two. two. Venti does. She said she's 22. Remember that Rick Ross line? I don't we know. We in room 222. I don't listen to Rick Ross. Yeah, same. So. Well, it was my birthday on... Uh, March 2nd, and it's the first time we came together since my birthday. <laughs> I am 23. Yeah. <laughs> year. You know? I got people, more wise. Can't peep our faces. <laughs> I got more wise, you know? My birthday, this is one of the one of the best birthdays. Every year, you know, just ever since 21, maybe? 21. Oh, ever yes, since 21, we went, remember we went to uh, the... We rented out the whole um, um, Chinese place, the Chinese food place. Okay, we didn't really rent it out, but, you know, our crew came and collided there. Remember? That was 21? Oh, yeah. That was 21. Mm. Yeah, that was... Ever since 21, oh. I had some great birthdays, you know? So, thank you. You know, they, they did good. You guys did good. And my sisters, you know, everyone did good. So, enough about me. <laughs> How are you guys? Thanks, thanks for that uh, spiel. <laughs> Yeah, you guys just asked me, yo, it was his birthday. You know, yeah, 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 say, yeah. Say, you know, he did Nana, your own thing. Nana Nana turned up on his own. He had his own um he had his own silent retreat. Yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't tell him what I did though. Go ahead. Saturday I went skiing, black Hugo. You should learn better <laughs> when it comes to skiing, you know. Um it was fun. Uh it's kinda scary, but it was fun. Uh Sunday, my sisters alongside Jojo. Um, they uh, I'm saying Jojo like people people know. Jojo. It's okay if Jojo's um, listening. At least she knows. Um, Jojo's, yeah, she knows who she is. Yeah, they surprised me with a hotel getaway in Niagara. I was thinking I was going to Vaughn. You know, you know, people that are listening in the states, Toronto. There's Toronto and right beside Vaughn. I mean, right beside Toronto is Vaughn. It's like, well, where I live is like five minutes. Vaughn, the border is right there. So, yeah, they took me to Niagara. And it was fun. Nice hotel. Best hotel I've ever been in in my life. And, you know, I had a great mental getaway for myself, you know. So I recommend everyone do it one, one, once a year at least, oh. you know. So, yes. Um, yeah, and then I came on my birthday. They came and surprised me with, you know, none of your business. But it was amazing. Oh, <laughs> oh it was gifts. Amaz- it was amazing. So, yeah. Thank you. I really took three minutes to you myself. Sure that's did. crazy. You did. You did. Wow, that's unlikely. Like me, I'm not Bernice. I don't ramble on and on. Sorry. Okay, come on, people, come in, come in. You can come in now. Come okay, on, we, open the door. I, don't, I don't know. I just. I, I, I oh my know. god, this episode. Are you funny? tagging us in? I don't know. I don't know. Tag. Okay. Thank you for that spiel. Okay. You appreciate it. <laughs> Let's get into it because you waste. You took three minutes. Three minutes on the people on time. People's time. They all want, they just want. Like, what is this they about? Just want, yeah, they okay. just want to get right into the topic. No, they love me. Yes, they do. They do. Right, but they want to hear what we want to talk about. So today, we are going to be talking about. <clears throat> hey. My water. Oh, hey. You okay. We gonna be talking about Let's talk about sex, baby Let's talk about you and me Let's Let's talk talk about about all the And that will be Let's talk about it Let's Let's talk about Your mom's watching this It's okay Okay. Sex, it's 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 a good thing It's a good thing In the right context Yes, God created it And obviously if you do it in the right way You will be blessed And he will be glorified but we are talking about sexual impu- in, I said impurity, impurity. <laughs> sexual in- immorality or sexual sin. Um, yeah, this is a topic that we obviously could tell that is very, uh, 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 you know, so let's get right into it. First question. What's your status? My status, what? My visa status? I am a Canadian citizen. <laughs> Um, I am. Uh, I, I one day want to be a, a Ghanaian mm-hmm. citizen. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Um, my status of uh, Corona. I didn't get my vi- uh, my COVID test. Okay. I mean, I didn't. Yeah, my status. So my Facebook status is I'm offline. Okay. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot of status. I know. You I, I, I thank right. you. So yeah. Well, so good way. Good way. <laughs> it was yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. That was good. <laughs> but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about uh, your V status. That's what we're talking about. Virg- Vir- Vir- Virginity. Virgi- Virginia. Yeah. 
virginity. virginity. Oh. You know what? I don't know why, but a lot of people just don't talk about it. I mean, obviously, you don't want to be blasting out your whole your business out there. I mean, but a lot. Mm. I would say that's opposite. A lot of people do talk about it. I guess very in the church context. Obviously, yeah, yeah. In the church exactly. Context, in the church context, it's, it's not really said. Or it's a hush hush topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah mind yeah. your business. That's all. <laughs> mind for your sure. business. Don't need to know what I'm doing my home. But yeah. for our purposes, obviously, we're going to be humble, open, and transparent. That's a transformation shirt. Hot. Okay, we're going to be open and vulnerable. So, what's your V-status? We need a slogan like that. We will find it one day. Okay. You're right. What's my V-status? Let's hold off on you, buddy. My V status is remained as a V status. Okay, it's a V. Oh, there's, there's nothing. There's nothing more to it. Okay, your girl is uh, just you know. She's she's you know she's good. I can't be acting like this because you guys are gonna be thinking I'm a, I'm a savage in the streets. I know. <laughs> I know. Like the way I'm acting is like, like what I'm did he do? You know what it like, is? And you know what it is? You know you know the people that watch yes. it are listening. You're just like, oh, yeah, yeah. But like you're acting like people don't know. People out here have done their probably own the one or two stuff. people that you're just like, oh my man, my I'm watching. It's Shout okay. out Andrew though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but for me, I'm. My status is still intact. What does that mean? What, what is like? Oh, you're a V. Yes, you're I I am a virgin, like oh. Mother Mary. Oh. Yes. Oh. I'm hey. waiting, waiting till marriage. Waiting till that right one comes along. Yeah, a man to be exact. Well, yes. I'm um me. I am uh I am not a virgin. He, he is right. He, his... So the separation. Ding. <laughs> um, but I'm a I'm 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 a, I'm a virgin in, in, in Christ. I'm see, I, told, I, I see. We talked about this the other day, <laughs> and I told him that yes, you're gonna do like, oh yeah, yeah. Like, I, I I I lost it, but I'm I'm still I'm yeah, still. I don't still, remember. Still That's the problem. I don't even remember. So I'm 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 fresh. I'm fresh. That's how I don't remember. It was so long so ago. A, yes, yes. Okay. It was so long ago. So I'm a virgin. Okay. So. But I'm not. Well, obviously we don't have a story. So you have a story. So you want to explain to the people like your story? Okay. Good question. My story is not that long. I mean, yeah. it's, it's a story though. I mean, I, I mean, high keep school. It, keep it short, sweet. High school, grade. That's a good question. Grade twelve. I was seventeen, eighteen. Um, you know, I had a girlfriend. You know, young puppy love. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, and and prior to that, prior to that. I I was the type of guy who said no I'm not I'm waiting till marriage I was telling everyone I'm waiting till marriage I was the the, the outcast you know church boy I'm waiting till <laughs> the marriage and stuff like shoes, that the two shoes. and then there was a shift you know kind of like in grade twelve and we will, we will explain more so of like how the school environment can catch you but you know I got into a relationship you know and I was the type of Christian that I was I, I thought I was gonna go to heaven I'm going to heaven and I'm. <laughs> I abide by every rule except the rule of yeah I'm gonna follow Christ but I can still um, have Do sex. The the way I would um how should I say justify it? I'm like I'm getting married to this person anyway, so it yes, matter. because yeah. I said I'm getting married, <clears throat> I can still do it ahead of time. Yep, so, because yeah. me and this person would yeah. say hey, we're getting married and stuff. Like, and you would say married, the so. three letter word, I love you, <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Once you put that L where you say, yeah, we locked it down. We're gonna be together I'm, forever. I'm falling in love with you. As the, okay, Bernice. As the Anyways, bachelor has said. Uh, so why is it okay, Bernice? Huh? Why you say okay, Bernice? I don't know. I'm trying to just get my story <laughs> out. <laughs> you know. So um. Yeah, you know, young puppy love, you know, you say this, ah, I love you and stuff like that. And then, yeah, you get caught. You get caught in a trap. You get caught. You know, I was more so the pursuer. I don't think people need to know that. But I was more so the pursuer. (laughs) And I did it. I did it. I did it. You know, I did it. Not once. I did it. I I did it. it. (laughs) Yeah. Not once, but I did it twice. And the first time I was like, I was guilty, you know? Mm. I remember, side story, I remember, like, m- maybe a day after I did I was at my friend's house, and then they're like, yo, so, like, yo, you know you have to wait till marriage and stuff like that. You have to you know, do all that stuff. And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. He Bang. asked me, yo, are you a V? Are you a virgin? I said, yeah, I'm a virgin still. You <laughs> lied. I lied to him. But, yeah. Yeah, that's my, that's, that's pretty I mean, much it. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah okay. That's, 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 uh, yeah, I, mean, I, I, I believe, like, a lot of stories probably end up like that, and more so, like, Either that they are in relationship and they just listen, they yeah. follow into it. Yeah, but I know one it's thing. Easy, I it's easier to follow. I knew what I was doing though. 
Of course. Like, I, no, of I, course. I, I, I knew you like, deliberately wanted to. Yes, do it. I knew yeah. I was I was trying to be a better Christian, but I knew what I was doing because I was immersed into some people that were like mentoring me and yeah. holding me. So I knew. Yeah. So I, yeah, it's not like I can say, oh my gosh, like I didn't know. Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. I knew. So mm-hmm. yeah. well, you talked about your spiritual status already, anyways, but like. What was it? Say it again for the people. Your spiritual status. My spiritual status. Yeah, like how is it? Like were you on at a- the time? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Once again, like I was one foot in, one foot out. I was wanting to do all this stuff. I wanted to, you know, kill everything, you know, in hood terminology. Oh my I gosh. <laughs> It's true though. Damn. Okay, not everything. Okay, no, I have no, standards. No, no, no. You have that, like, no my no, standard. Yes, if I see yes, my standard, yes, then yeah, yes, I, obviously you, know? you wanted yeah. to go for yeah. it. You yeah. Know? yeah. Damn. Oh um, my gosh. But in that time, God, got it could have been worse. God curved a lot of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And at the time, I'd be like, damn, man, I have no game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably at that you're like, oh my gosh, no girl's gonna like me, but it's yeah. it was for your good. Yeah. It was for your good. I can't rope these girls in and stuff like that, but thank God. A lot of stuff got curved. A lot. Amen. A lot. Amen. Go ahead. Yeah. No, a lot of streets. stories. No, okay, okay. There's not a lot of stories, but I'm just trying to say. He's exaggerating, obviously, yes. but yes. obviously, yes. yeah. But anyways, well, we're gonna come. Yeah, Enough yeah. Of, about Nana, because you know. Yeah. How about you guys? Like, what? Like, <clears throat> well, I mean, I mean, growing up, I guess I don't know where you want to go, what avenue you want to go to. So since you talked about, like, I went in high school. I did it in high school. Yeah. Yeah. Up. So when you guys were in high school, temptations were there. See, not I think, for, not, I don't, I don't not, know. I, I would say like temptations in a sense where you would wear certain stuff to appease a certain person or appease a were certain. Were you doing that? I would say I did that sometimes oh, yeah, did for that sure. Too. I, didn't I know that. It's either I wore like tights or something like that, or I, you know, like if you're. But what was your intentions when you were doing that? But intentions. What I, what I said, the intention was to, to attract, attract the male. Okay, but once you got the male, if that were to happen, what was your intentions after that? I, in the, in there was no, I mean, well, for me, I would have been like, I don't know. There was no intention. I don't think that I didn't want to be in a relationship. I just wanted the attention of oh. the guys. Like, I didn't want like I didn't want a long-term relationship. Or maybe I did. But, like, when I was really thinking about it, I was like, I don't know if I would have wanted to even be in a relationship with these people. Like, I just like the attention of that. Yeah. So, I mean, that can bring on the, like... Getting your hormones riled up yeah. and like trying to, as a girl, like th- things that you wear, you do it for a purpose, Obviously, right? Yeah. So you want that, you know, like liking at that age in like high school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a big thing because a lot of girls did the same thing for sure. They would wear the tightest tights or the shortest. Uh, back then in uh, our high school, they had skirts and they would roll them up and stuff like that. Yeah. So, but now we have pants, of course. But yeah, back then it was. I mean, for me, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, I don't think. You see, the, the reason being is because the way our household was, was yeah, we were, it we was like an strict. unknown thing, but you knew not to do it. Yes. That's what yeah. it was. So I wasn't like, I was like in my mind thinking like, oh yeah, one day I want to have, uh, <laughs> obviously I want to have sex, but I, I didn't want to have sex <laughs> like in high school. Like, yeah. High school was thinking, let me graduate. I need to get into a university. Let me, yeah. you know, obviously I was still attracted to people and I still wanted to, to get the attention, but mm-hmm. the in the back of my mind, I knew my mom and my dad will kill, kill. me. Kill, kill. But let me say, one thing that's different between men and women, you guys, well, most women, you guys are not really riled up like that. Like, you guys don't Yeah, it's, it's, it's emotional. It's like emotional. That. Yeah, Where you're right. Where guys is like, yo, Physical. Man. It's all eyes yeah. through the eyes. Yes. And once you get turned on, it's like... Yeah, yeah but it's very... But that's, once again, if you're a man and you know how to play on a woman's emotion, a woman can easily fall into that and be like, yeah, he loves me, or he's saying all sure. these things that make me feel good, so why not give it to him anyways? You know what I mean? And listen, my my mind was not emotional. I was not emotional at all. Mm-hmm. I, I, like, I could tell how like what they were doing mm-hmm. and so, you so were very militant right? yeah i was yeah. i was not playing no games i said no man no no mm-mm. you Christian? i would just observe and be like nah. no you believe in that? no <laughs> oh you have like four or five girls no i'm good <laughs> thanks next like you know i wasn't i wasn't like yeah. oh yeah but obviously in high school there's definitely been stories about people listen i always people them i always told bernice and Janet, you guys are unicorns we're not unicorns. No, there's oh, a lot. No, of you guys are yeah, yeah, yeah. unicorns. Like, like, it's very rare? Yes. Oh. You guys are unicorns. Listen, <laughs> high school was a very treacherous place. <laughs> Jungle, okay? That's where it shows, like, okay, let's see if your parents raised you right. A lot yeah. of touching on more, the bomb more, will more pass, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of yeah, playful yeah. stuff will pass. Yeah. And now looking back at it, 
the ones that um, didn't allow that to happen, mm-hmm. they're the ones that's like, okay, obviously I'm, they're the ones that's like have have their head on a, on a swivel right now. Yeah. But it was a jungle in high school. Yeah, like, I'm sure. I'm sure. And and like I feel bad because it's like. I wouldn't want my no one treating my sister like that. Like, I mean, but the, if listen, I was a father, I wouldn't want anyone treating my daughter like that. So the stuff that was happening, I know, but that, but then it goes into how, what you saw as a child. You know, you think these people just all randomly just been like, yeah, riled up, boom. I know what I'm doing. And I remember, yeah, the, even like, well, going back to watching as you're asking right now, like, if anyone watched Passions, that show, yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, it's, but we were watching that at like. What age in grade is eight, well, you're not 13. even. No, no I was younger than, younger than that. Seven? Yeah, I probably four, like four, grade five, four, grade five, three, grade six, four. I don't remember. Grade five. I'm bad at timing, but I yeah. know I watched that show, and I know that was, show uh, was all Young about and the Restless, Young and the Restless, own folk business that we yes. had nothing to be a part of, and we, we were watching it. And I'm, I'm surprised, but it did get it. It opened the window, and I think once again, like my ideal of women are more mental than uh, men. Men are more like physical people with like seeing things and it gets them riled up to like mm-hmm. go and do certain things with people but like in general that w- opened up my mind mm-hmm. of like what sex is yeah and like what it should look like yeah i so, think that picture of i mean passions didn't really show too much but you can you know, there I was know inti- that, it was intimacy. you can see there's intimacy yeah. and in, in, in a sense where it was a hot mess if you watch passions yeah. you know it was messy like <laughs> it was. baby mama drama and and all of this stuff and mm-hmm. and so like seeing that it's just like oh so that's how it that's how it works mm-hmm. and I, I mean it personally didn't affect me to be honest it mm-hmm. just showed me that i should trust nobody <laughs> that's how it affected me but other than that i didn't i didn't play on that yeah. But I think as I got older, that's what I was gonna say. It got worse. Like now, like what do you think about the media now and what you watch now and how it's different from what you watched back then and how it affects you <laughs> now in your that's mind? That's ten questions. Sorry, in one. <laughs> it's the same thing. But I mean, in general, how does what you watch now from worse then affect now, you? Man, oh, it's soft core porn and shows. No, like for real. When, yeah. when power, when power first came out. Still, power to this day, it was whoa. I was not <laughs> expecting that. I said, whoa, whoa. Like, why are we watching someone like you're, you're no, basically watching someone in their bedroom? Yes. When <laughs> power came on and my family liked to watch it in the in the living room, I knew to get out. I knew to I'm not what? I'm your not family, watching your family what? My mom, all. Man, I was like, gonna say like what? my brothers and sister my brothers and sisters <laughs> will watch it, right? And and they moved like anything. Nothing didn't bother them. Nah. But me, I knew that my triggers were there. So if he says, "Yeah, we're watching Power," I'm like, huh, "I'm gonna go watch it later. I'll watch it in my room or something like that. I'll watch it by myself." I mean, but wouldn't that make but it was better, gonna be, be worse. worse. Yes. It, it made it worse at the end of the day. But it's like, yo, man, Power was dangerous. Man. Yeah, that was. I've never, that was I never watched it really. No, I, I, yeah, watching it, it I just was said, Whoa. I'm literally in somebody's bedroom right now, watching yeah. from the door. Yeah, it's like how are you guys doing this on screen? And then and then. And then you expect people to have a, a, a perspective of how to treat a woman or what sex mm-hmm. is about. That is completely distorted it's at like this point. It's like animalistic. Yes. Yes. Exactly. It's like, just get what you want yeah, and get, get it get out. It's like only yeah. when you feel... It's like usually they show the sex scene is when somebody's emotionally in distraught and they, yeah. they need somebody to subdue them and make them feel better. So yes. they go to the person and they have sex. It's like I'm watching a show right now called New Amsterdam and the girl's in pain and she can't use... um. Uh, painkillers because she's she was addicted to it she, she, she's a drug addict and so she would what happened was she eventually started sleeping with her physiotherapist so that she can ease the pain so imagine you as a child watching this show and then all you see is like oh so y- you don't have to use drugs you can you know sex is a is a painkiller yeah. you know that's not the point of why yeah, media sex can, was created media can corrupt our minds and our children's mind yeah. It's kind of scary what these kids have access to now because we didn't really have access like that. I mean, we grew <laughs> a little bit older, but now they got access to everything. I think even... Sorry, am I? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No. I think even like... Uh, it may not even be shows, but it's the music. Music is mm. basically painting the picture because yeah. kids sing the song not knowing <laughs> what they're what singing is, anyways, yeah. and it's on the radio and they're playing it and they're painting the picture of a sex scene through words. Yeah. That's one thing so, that's one thing that, that was hurting me. Like that's why I can't even listen to Kush Brown like that anymore, to be honest. I remember um uh like my first year of college, like I'd be on the bus listening to bare R and B music. Mm. But, uh, 
stuff like I, I I didn't know that it was hurting me because mm-hmm. I'll be listening to it and then I'll be thinking about my past and stuff like right. that. Right, subconscious. And then, yeah. yeah, I'll be on the bus like you know riled up, you know. <laughs> now go home, do acts that you know I wasn't, you know, yes. you know, you know, get what I'm saying. No, I don't so, know because some people open don't know. up that oh, book. The, the the gateway of pornography, you know, yes. that's a that's a can go on for twenty conversations. But the gateway of pornography open when the music, like, it planting seeds in my mind and stuff like that. It's like, oh, my god! I think a lot of people take for granted that the mind is super powerful and has yeah. a lot of space to store a lot of things. Yeah. Just because you watched it in your childhood doesn't mean it's not going to come back in your adulthood. I like, think you'll they remember. think it's not conscious. That's why they think it's no, but not it, consciously. Like, it's, you know, like, conscious information that you're reading. Yeah, and you're but it's absorbing. something that's under your subconscious. So yeah. as, you perf- as you do things, as you go about it, as you interact with people, those things, those songs that you're listening to, the images, it's very easy like chris brown you can visualize what he's doing like with the song like you could visualize you know and and movies and tv shows like you can literally visualize mm-hmm. what it is and so how in the world is sex supposed to come back into what it was created to be if everything is impure everything, yeah. everything. you can't even keep your mind pure free like even if it's a couple seconds even, even if it's a clean version yeah, you know, still yeah, yeah there, like even like if it's like a clean version like, it's very easy for it to be like oh, i know, know the what lyrics, he's, yeah like so, i know yeah. what he's saying like all these songs about and videos music videos have oh, yeah. turned it turned up oh, to a different God. level watch video, music videos like that you know i yeah i don't really any, but like the few that we watch like closer to the time where we just stopped watching in the 2000s and stuff like it's, that it was it's softcore porn too right yeah. now yeah, yeah. Honestly. It got a little and 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 for me like for me little stuff in my mind were like added on when i was smaller so i remember being at someone's house and I don't know, they're playing around with their TV and then they went on to like a porn thing. Mm -hmm. I was like, yo, turn that off, you know, like turn that off. But that stayed in my mind. They say like good memories, bad memories more so stay in your mind than the good good memories. memories. Yeah. And it's true. I remember certain times where I'll be, I I seen this and it'll stick in my mind. It's like, damn, I don't want it to stick in my mind. And then there's, it got to a point where I I, I got to an age where I knew what I was doing, where I'll go and snoop on the internet and I'll be like, It didn't do anything to me at that time. I was curious, but as I got older, it started to build up and then it exploded. Yeah. Into, yeah. You yeah. Know. It looked for more and stuff yes. like that. I mean, I don't think Janet knows this, but I think I told you about yep, it. Yep, you did. Like, <laughs> I was very, like, <laughs> I should go talk to you. But like, it's not, honestly, I think a lot of times we put um, emphasis on the men's side and that men's yeah. like their impure thoughts and they're this and they're that and like they're the ones who start the sexual immorality and yeah. you know what I mean? obviously they have a, a, a part of it but mm-hmm. I think as women too we do have a we part to value ourselves yes and we also seek out um, websites and watch porn and, yeah. and watch TV shows that we shouldn't be watching mm-hmm. and so that for me that also played in my mind because I seen videos and TV shows and went on YouTube and see stuff and I said I don't think I should be watching this, but I'm curious. Yeah. Let me just, you like know, not, and then you really keep going. Me, and yeah, it doesn't, going. yeah, like I said, no, I'm too good. Like Jesus knows I'm a heart. I'm just yeah. curious. It's not affecting. I'm just curiosity. You know? I just wanted to, you know, build information so that what I do know, mm-hmm. like, you know, I can yeah. add it all together. And when I'm ready, I know <laughs> yeah. what to do. Yeah. That's what ended up happening. And so obviously I didn't get into it too deep where I'm start like, I was like a daily basis. But when I did have the, the chance, I'll be on the computer. I would search things up and I said, hmm, this is this is different. Like, mm-hmm. I never knew this is what it was. And the funny thing is, I dis- that wasn't the first time, like, when I was younger. Mm-hmm. I think also, like, my cousins, there's what there, <laughs> there's one time I went on his computer and same I seen something. And I said, oh, Lord. Uh, same thing happened to me. <laughs> to this day, I no, same thing. To- I said, oh, Lord. No, oh, I yep. was here. I said, what? What, what is this? I, said, I didn't even snitch too. I, I didn't even snitch. I, didn't snitch. I, grabbed the co- I, I grabbed my uncle's computer. My uncle. Mary too. I grabbed his computer. I opened this. First thing I opened it, boom, right there. Everyone was in the kitchen. I was just like, X. I was like this. I was just X and I, I never told anyone in my life. I just let it slide. I and said, that's what happens to a lot of kids. A lot of kids. Already, yeah, Even that's stuck in my mind. It, they open it, yeah. so now you're curious that you'll go it home and search that more. More. Yes. And so, but that's why it leads to p- parents mm-hmm. about Watch parenting yourself, man. and what they have. And that's what one thing I told myself with the with my point. We will get into that, but my pronoun. Don't addiction, worry. Don't even say go. Just get right, into we're, it. We're, we're, we'll we're, touch we're, on. We'll touch on it, but we'll touch on it more. Yeah. yeah. Diff- just don't worry. About my it. pornography so addiction. It. Um. Damn, I almost forgot what I what I was gonna say, <laughs> but it stemmed from what I seen in the past. Like it. It. It's like 
I forgot I was going to say. Sorry. But <laughs> <continue>. okay. <laughs> Sorry, take your time. <laughs> no, but... I, Bruh. I, <laughs> He mad. He's like, oh, no. Important and then just no, but that's why I was talking about parenting and, and, and the importance of parents. Like, oh, I got it. See? Thank you. I good looking. You? Good looking. Yeah, I, I said one thing. I always told myself, people them, people them. One thing I always tell myself, I gotta get this under like control. Yeah. Not even under control. I gotta get rid of this yeah. before yeah. I get into marriage. Yeah. Because one thing that people tend to not realize is that the stuff that you go through. Your parent I'm like, yo, whoa, what the hell is this? And now looking back at it, it's like, yo, my dad was probably, uh, you know, like, yeah. going through that, <laughs> yes. right? Yes. So, and a lot of things get passed down yeah. from your parents. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for from sure. From your father and stuff like yeah. that. So there's a lot of things I told myself, I know this is a, this comes from generation mm-hmm. after generation. I got to C- put down. a lid on yeah. this because I don't want my children to be going through this. God willing, if I do have children, but I don't want them to go to be going through this. So that was one of my fights and my urges to get, get rid of it. Get rid of it. And I didn't want it. Don't, a lot of people think pornography addiction is not a problem. Yeah, or anything yes. in or that sense is not when a problem. When you get into marriage, it just it's, it's it completely okay. stops. Or it's okay it to watch it in in your marriage. Like it's it's normal. Like yeah. it's become it's normal. Not. That oh, you're saying of, that it's like. People think that it's okay. Yeah, like, it's okay. okay. Like, it's normal. Like, it's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. it's, no, uh, no, it's no, part no. of your sex yeah. life. That's part of the, the yeah. whole, you know, the... the learning yes. curve. Yes, like, that's learning. not that's yeah. not what it is. Like, uh, once again, we go back to the creation of, of how God made man and woman and marriage. Like, it's supposed to be in marriage. Just, just listen. There's, con- YouTube, there's, consequen- the yeah, there's consequences. And, you know? Like, that's why there's boundaries. And that's why God created marriage. Because yeah. he knows if we step out of marriage and do all this stuff, it yeah. carries along through generation to generation. Yeah. Emotional damage, yep. spiritual damage, physical damage. Like, it's... A, Baby Everything. mama, baby it's daddy. It's like all this drama that you don't need to be a part of. If only you just listened to what God has said yeah. and come in to find the right person and marry them and then have as much sex as yeah. possible. Yeah. Anytime, any time of the day, it doesn't matter. It's in the context of marriage. So there's nothing that God has restricted you of. Like mm-hmm. you can do whatever you want. I'm telling you, you like, know? pornography is so demonic. Like it, like even with the industry, like. It's the stuff do you they know portray? that industry is like a multi million dollar billion dollar, billion, 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 probably almost trillion yeah. dollar so business. Demonic. Yeah. And the stuff when you go watch it, it makes you go and treat other women wrong. It makes yeah. you go and have impulsive decisions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's where the baby mamas come yeah. through. Like yeah. you just you, after you watch it, it's like, yo, I want to go yeah. to sleep mm-hmm. with anything. And you because, know what? Sorry, continue. No, because after the point, it's like, yo, I'm I'm doing this act. I'm watching this. Right, like, okay, yeah. I want to go Dude, actually yeah. do it. Yeah. 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 Right? So. Yeah. And I was going to say, like, the industry has also boomed a little bit more because before it wasn't as big because you had to go to certain stores to get, to get that. What you, yeah. But now the yeah. access is through Instagram. Yeah. The access is through Twitter. The access the is internet. through... The like, internet. Like, the internet. The whole internet. Like, internet. Small sites. Like, the business. Yeah. Like, something, it's, the, the subtle things of, yeah. like, seeing a woman's butt. The subtle things of seeing a man who's almost fully naked. Uh, you don't think that's listen, the enemy working its way into listen. people's minds and children's minds because children can go on Instagram at any age, okay? They have baby Instagrams. <laughs> 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 no, I know it's true. You have six year olds. Like going, did, the terminology is funny. Maybe Instagram. Like I'm not. It's, it's like just, YouTube kids. Yeah, YouTube like kids. you know oh what I mean. There's gosh, no per, there's no bro. boundary and you of can't like filterize like the you can't the, you can't you know like the you no you like YouTube. Your feed, okay, yeah. you can put restriction on it, yeah. but Instagram. There's no, not really yeah. restriction to that. And I know my triggers. Yes. That's why I'm not on Instagram yeah. like and that. And people don't know their triggers, so they just say, oh, I'm not triggered. Mm-hmm. And it's like, Sometimes yeah, Sometimes I are. have to tell my friends, yo, don't send me All like, this, this stuff. girl. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Because like, in the past, we'd be like, yo, this girl's sweet. Like, yeah. we'll comment. I said, don't send me any yeah. girl like that like anymore. Or I won't like certain stuff. Or I won't go. Like, that's why I have to unfollow the yeah. shade room. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because the shade room would post those ads. Crazy stuff. And, and, and yeah. the bikini girls. And I said, I can't do that. I'd rather unfollow the shade room go on the shade room and actually control what i see yeah. like yeah. swipe down and stuff like that because i i know my triggers and to this day i know my triggers yeah to this day i can't watch certain stuff because i know you know yeah. I'm just, it, like one thing about one of my motos is like don't screw up nana like 
And when I say don't screw up, it's like don't fall into temptation. Don't fall yeah. into temptation. You don't what, fall you into know, the money thing. Is, yeah. Don't fall into so many things that can make you lose your family, make you lose your friends, make you yeah. lose your faith. I'm not playing, so I'm militant. Yes, I am cured of the pornography is free. Yes, yeah. people, the pornography is free. Oh, don't, don't think I'm don't still be going naive, through it. Yeah. Okay, but yes, I'm not trying to be naive. I'm trying to curb every yeah. little thing. If I see one of my friends wearing a certain thing, or if I I I be like, yo yo, maybe you should like. Or wear yeah, it. or just or not just get us. Oh, or even I, myself, I gotta go. yeah, I gotta go. Even myself, yeah. I wouldn't like. I would try not to like. It feels weird with my shirt off. <laughs> like it feels weird. I'd be like, oh, I'd be on face. I'd be like, oh, oh I try to cover my like, 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 And I asked myself, like, yo, am I doing too much? Like, am I like you know? Yeah. So it's like so many. Just even on both sides, like I try to just. Even if someone says no, I'm good. Like sex, no, I try to. No, but you can't. You cannot. Because little say kids you're are good. watching. Eh? No, but yes. you can never say Kid, you're good. Like the, you, yeah, that you can idea never say, of yeah. saying I'm good. I can handle it. Like don't worry. If I see a girl naked in the beach, like I'm good. Like if I see a girl no, that's wearing a that's bikini, what that used like, to I'm say. good. Yeah. You're telling me that you're trigger. You know you're triggering. You put yourself in the beach and there are bare naked women out <laughs> put there. Put yourself in the and lion's all of a sudden, den. Yeah, you literally Crazy? said no. I'm good. No, you're going to be triggered and you're going to fall. It's very easy to do that. And I think a lot of people. I mean, even. Even if you're listening right now, you're probably like, you guys are virgins. What do you guys know about it? It's still a trigger. It's you know how hard it is to fight off the flesh? No, people think that once you're a virgin, you can't just go and Like, there's no... Have there's, sex. Like, there's no... Like, you know? Yeah. There's nobody out there. Like, I, I can have sex tomorrow if I really if you wanted, wanted to. to. Like, I could be a, not a virgin the next day. And but it, I choose yeah. to curb my like block all the things yeah. so i stay in a lane where yeah. i know okay i want to stay in this lane till marriage and yeah. i want to have it for this person right. so and i think a lot of times like like you said like people feel like because you're virgin everything is like you know it's okay the yeah, right person will, yeah it doesn't bother know, like, it doesn't no, bother it does we still we have to every day. we still have to fight our the minds mind. yeah. me too me it, too right like you <laughs> everyone you everyone still have to fight the, the, you still so have hard. to fight your mind so if you're struggling with pornography or masturbation or whatever it is and you're are you having multiple sex partners or you're in a relationship and now that you you're having sex all the time mm-hmm. you need to step out of it because yeah. you're going to go you're Say literally again. damaging yourself Say that again. You need so to step I, out of it yes take your take take yourself out of it yeah. if you're trying to be a christian if right? you're really yes if you're pursuing god and you and you really want to pursue God, I'm telling you, you cannot have sex with your partner or you can, you have to curve it. Yeah. yeah. Because there's, there's like, there's we're no talking, way. There's no, uh, there's absolutely there's no, no way. way that you can work on it and still be in yeah. that relationship. Yeah. Like, it, it and it has to be work. both parties have to yes, agree. Yes, it has to be both parties. And also just to say, oh, blah, blah, blah. it just felt like that. <laughs> <laughs> but we were talking about yesterday, we said like lust opens the door to sex. Sex mm-hmm. opens the door to pornography. Mm-hmm. If you're lusting, yeah. Hold people, the rain on people that. People think lust is just... It's okay. It's okay. No. It's normal. It's normal. It's I'm not going to lead to anything. Yep. That accumulates. That stuff accumulates. I'm sorry to tell you, but it does. And let me one get, day, you're just going to... If you're at a party one day... It's very easy the, to slip the mood, up. The mood yes. is open and ready for you. You're You're, you're going to do it. You're yeah. going to fall. Like... Yeah. So, oh my god, there's so many coming. Okay, but one I'm thing sorry. I want to say about the, 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 the people that are virgins and you're, you're Christian or just virgins in general, please don't play yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't. Don't, it's not worth it. Coming from me, mm-hmm. that 20 minutes of satisfaction. 20 minutes. How many times did you, how much, how much? <laughs> 20 minutes, that, that's different. Sorry. But 20 <laughs> minutes, it's like five, it's like five it minutes. To your life, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Okay, that amount of time. That you're gonna gamble your whole life <laughs> of. Yeah. Trust me, you don't want soul ties because you don't. I still feel the soul yeah. tie. I still feel the person's like energy yeah, yeah, and the yeah. person's all the way in the next part of the yeah, city. Yeah. Like I, I wish like I'm not, like I uh, like it's you see this person like on the road and your heart just stops. You mm. just feel connect. You yeah. feel some feel type of connection. Connected. You can never and not it's like, like you don't you know? want that. Like honestly, like obviously I knew what I was doing, but. I look back at it like, damn, yeah, you yeah. messed up. That's why it's and it, I, I sometimes like I have to forgive myself for that because for sure. it, it hurt. Like I'm like, damn, like one day, like if a woman's a virgin and she, like I'm with her, like she can't, we can't experience it together. Like I wish that could have happened, mm-hmm. right? So please don't play yourself. Yeah, don't put please, yourself. It's in not that worth position. it. It's I'm not worth it. I'm telling you, it's well, not worth, it's not it. worth it. it. Sorry, like one of the big things is like, well, I'm gonna go into off topic, but. Slightly mm-hmm. in the topic, but people will be like, "Oh, when you get married and you're a virgin, like it's gonna be weird." No, how's be- it gonna be yeah. weird if you guys are both 
in the same stage and you guys are learning yeah. together. together people say it's, they want to test the, test the card exactly before. you want to test the card and some people will marry a virgin that's fine whatever mm-hmm. like but it's still a difficult process because you're in it and someone's not yeah or you've and, been in it yeah. you've been you in it and like all of you experienced it. all of it and the and pressure it's you, too much yeah, yeah the pressure for the person who is a virgin has mm-hmm. never experienced anything so not saying that it can't work mm-hmm. but it's better that you do experience that yeah. together if you do Cross fingers, find that one that is a virgin too. It's going to be the best experience because you guys are learning together. You guys are going through that journey together. So, yeah. Yeah. People who say it's weird. It's not. It's it's not not. weird. (laughs) I was going to, I mean, obviously we're talking about God and that's the only way. Sorry. Let me just lay it out there. The only way that you can get through any addiction, any type of lust, pornography, um, sexual addiction is God. Side note, can't I, help you. I try to do it by myself. You cannot mm-hmm. do it by yourself. It by myself. He is the only mm-hmm. one who can do it for you. You can go to any person that is a Christian right now who tried to do it by AKA Nana. He tried to do it by himself multiple times. And if he could yeah. do it by himself, he would have conquered it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. But the he didn't. You God, know what I mean? It just right. Went away. Right. And <laughs> I was gonna say, I say. <laughs> it does because when people ask me, how the hell did you yeah, do it? Yeah, yeah. How the hell did you do it? Yo, I've been doing this since grade seven. Yeah. But you've been yeah. doing this since grade eleven or ten. It how did you matter. do it? It doesn't matter. Yeah, it, matters. It, doesn't. it doesn't matter. The more you pursue Christ, it will your go away. Change. It will yeah. just go away. You forgot. You will occupy your time and surround yourself with people who are a community who uplift you and and tell you no, don't do that. People, where are you going? Like you know, yeah. Some people need to go to the extent of having someone check their screen. Yeah. Okay. Or so having someone just. Sometimes beat. you need that though. You need. No, that. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, some yeah. people have yeah. to like. I had. Check I had the. I had um. Something like that. Me and you my know? friend were holding each other accountable. So on a safari, like it was a restriction. Like you can't. You have to put a passcode in. So yeah. the, the, the my next friend person will have to put it in. Yes. Yeah. The that's friend I mean. would have yeah. to put in the passcode for me to go on. Right. So but that, if that's the length you have to go to, but it it comes down to how bad do you want it. Yeah. yeah, that's the question you have to well, ask. No, it yourself. is because he yeah. did that, and I would still find other ways. Yeah, to, it's how bad so, do you yes, want it. So yes, that does work, but it won't work but for a long time. How bad do you yeah. want it? Like, do you desire to to conquer this thing? And if you do, then you would know that the only person that can help you is God, and you will seek out God. other help. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so speaking on that, like with church, it's like you know what I mean. If, especially if you're a new believer and you're and you're going through this stuff, it's not easy to be coming to somebody's like. I have an addiction mm-hmm. or I'm struggling with sexual immorality. Let me what, say something yeah. like that. I think it becomes easier when um, the leader of your church mm-hmm. is very open and transparent. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very. Yeah. That's what opens the gate for, like, yeah. for everyone to come in and, and all be like, the yo, leaders, I, not just I, the one leader. Yeah, just all, everybody, all yeah. the leaders. The church yes, I've been through that. Right. I, I've mm-hmm. been through that. Right. That's why I, I'm open and transparent with people or with the kids yeah. on, on Wednesday. Yeah. So, it's like, whoa, Nana's been through that? Okay, I can come to Nana yeah. and tell, and them tell them what I'm So going that's through. that's my answer. Once yeah. the p- people on top are open, people follow. Yeah. Domino yeah. effect. Yeah, and it's, it comes down open. to transparency. Like, mm-hmm. if the church makes themselves look perfect, nobody's going to come. Because gonna everybody run. knows <laughs> that we're. I'm not perfect. I've, I've gone against, you know, the word of God. So why would they accept me? And why would I be allowed into the church? So like Nana said, we all have to be transparent. Our yeah. stories are stories for a reason. Like, if don't we try to went, belittle yeah, someone like, else's own story. Own your story. Yeah. It's okay. Own your story. Mm. It's yours for a reason, and use that as a testimony to help somebody else. Because as Christians, we cannot just put it in a box and put it away and act like we've been Christians our whole mm. life and mm. we've been holy and thou and you know God didn't actually save you. It, it's like you, that was that's pride to me at mm. the end of the day. And it's I, afraid. It's, it's also pride, but also being afraid of being judged. But then you back to but the that but that's but that comes like that. down to that you didn't you didn't deal with it in the first place because if you mm. dealt with it you know god forgave you so why are you holding it against yourself no, i mean yourself, I, you know? i'm talking about like yeah like, yeah, like <laughs> i'm talking about telling yeah. somebody else like no i know it. that's what i'm saying it's yeah. still really it's, it's hard to deal with it if me, you just feel afraid to even say it yeah that's a good point because when i when i kind of figured it out you know me pursuing god it wasn't that hard to tell someone because I wasn't ashamed anymore. Yeah, you got it. It's like but, you're, it's gone. You yeah, know but at I mean? the same point, there's some people that are going through it mm-hmm. that's that what I mean. still need to, some, yes. to but, you know, but, you still, but they need to yes. try. They need to yes. constantly say, okay, I, I want to yes. try to get help. Mm-hmm. Yes. So and and obviously, you're not telling continue. the whole world your story. Yeah, you can yeah, find yeah, in the yeah, people yeah. that you can trust. Yeah. You can find in the yeah. people that you know are going to actually help you and hold you down and not spill out your story.
word to the whole yeah. entire community. Yeah. By the time you come into the church, the whole story, the whole the, <laughs> people no, looking yeah. at you like, like mm, <laughs> you I know, what, I know what you did last night. <laughs> that's what church hurt comes in. And that's like where last church hurt comes in. If we can't be, tr- like, that's the, oh, sorry. But the church has to be a, a community that is trustworthy. Yeah. You yeah. cannot, we cannot do this gossip thing of like, oh yeah, I, I know what she did. Yeah. yeah, I know she slept with that man yesterday. Her and him. And you know what? It's just yeah. like, if you have that mentality, especially coming into a community, especially we're new believers, mm-hmm. It's not a good look for us, yeah. you know. Our hearts have to be open. Our hearts have to be um, tender-hearted and compassionate. So we can't just be like, "Oh, well, because you had sex, well, go on to the side," yeah. you know. And for those people who are currently doing it or struggling get once out again, of this. It's better on this side. Get Stop out, now! Don't just think you know out. what? I I I already let go, and let me just keep going. No, you can reel it back yeah. and go back and start from yeah. the beginning. Start with Christ yeah. and pursue it again. I. Even someone, well, someone had told me this story. Basically, they were in immorality. They were having sex. They were doing all the things or whatever, and they weren't married. And then they found Christ. Or it's not even they, they found Christ. They were already in Christ, yeah. but they just they were just not following all the things. And then they stopped. Instead of just to continue and doing they what stopped, they wanted, yeah. they stopped. They they just they quit it. They didn't have sex anymore. They separate themselves, and they, they um, went on their own ways. Then they got back together, and then, they, you know, did it together the right way and got married. Mm-hmm. Like, don't think ever it's like a wrong time. You know to what it is? A lot of people it, think you know? it's, I'm too far gone. Like, yeah. uh, God, no. God can't take me back. I'm, I already did all you can think of. But that's the beauty of grace. It covers yeah. your, your before, your now, and your after. Mm-hmm. So you have to, like, it's hard to realize that because society makes it like, okay, once you're, you've lost it, whatever, like, you're, you're gone. gone. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. next, you know? But, but that's not God. He, he always goes back for that one. You know, no matter how far you've gone, he's always ready to welcome you. If you have a reputation you. in the streets, who cares what people It's say. not about them. It's not about they gonna look at you and be like, "How did you? Do yeah, it? don't let, Show don't me let. How. That's how the enemy works, right? They ho- yeah. they use your past as your 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 chain that to will hold, hold you down. down. Yeah. And so when you yeah. want to move forward, it's just like somebody reminds you, like, "Listen, girl, I know what you. you that got was thirty like, bags. Yeah, like you know, you you you. you were sleeping around with all these men, or like you know, that's the guy that slept around yeah. with all these ladies, but." It's not about that. You have a clean slate once you uh, invite Christ into your life. And that's why we're here. Like, mm-hmm. we're not here to condemn anybody or judge anybody. We're not perfect. We're so. not perfect. I'm Trust not perfect me, for I'm sure. Perfect like, man. I still struggle with lustful thoughts. I still me struggle too. with watching certain shows that, that just are so good. Hard, They're so man. good, but we're not. All you scenes. good shows, stop <laughs> putting the sex scenes and, in. And if you want to do those scenes. It doesn't scenes, even make sense. You can do the scene and just. Yes, in a do, nice, tasteful way. And, you know, yeah. tasteful like way. A, you remember back in the day? Man. They didn't even show you. Back in the day, they just they showed them making out. It doesn't yeah. even make sense. Some <laughs> scenes you guys put in, it doesn't make sense. I know. Like, it's so off. Thing, you're like, like just stop. Know, I'm telling you, that's how the Gosh. enemy works. I, mean, I swear, nowadays, you don't even see the rating, what it is, no. R rating. Yeah. Or, I yeah. don't even know, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Sometimes I check on Netflix. I can't even see on Netflix. Someone show me. I can't see. It's PG. Now they say it's PG-14 or PG or M. Now, I don't even know. I don't I'm even know. One show in, what two is, shows no, in. No, no, no. Two like, episodes in, and the like, third episode, boom, it comes. What is M? What is I don't, mature? Mature. What is that? What is mature? <laughs> what age? <laughs> don't be riled up, bro. Because stop. Like, good shows. You guys stop, yeah, man. You need to stop. Yeah. Like, oh. You have a good storyline. <laughs> yes. Stop messing it up with me. Please you. stop. Hot. Like, Sorry. Oh. Sorry okay. for riling up. But I have one more thing, too. Sorry. This just came up in my mind. But for those who are actually in relationships and pursuing marriage and want to be married, and you're currently a Christian right now, now, hold off. Start again. That's a, that's the next episode too. Do it, yes. Do it again. Got to yo man. Put bare pre- put the brakes on. In, put man. the brakes on because I'm telling you, if God puts you guys together, but that the sex, y'all better. It's the one that's it's 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 making your decision. You're not it's clear. clouded. It's yes, clouding. you're clouding. Yo, your decision. one thing too though, they like I've seen a lot of like Christian couples mm-hmm. and they got um uh together young, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. That is dangerous. Is it? Let me tell you why. I'm talking about young. I'm talking about high school. Young. Some people okay. are and now okay they're with that, just still Now they're still together. But okay. what I'm trying to say is, the reason why I say it's dangerous, because they think when they first get into it, we're not having sex. Like, you know? Mm-hmm. Because they're young. That's true. So sometimes they, they, they fall into it. Mm-hmm. Rather than, in my mind, I don't know if people are going to agree with me, but I say get into like a, a relationship, work on yourself and get into a relationship 23, 24, 25. I mean, it's, like, uh, I'm, yeah, I get it. 
I don't oh, think you should be in a relationship in high school. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't think I agree. No, I agree. I mean, yeah, I agree because one be of our honest. pastors, Pastor John, used to say, "Don't get into a relationship when you are in high school," and that stuck with me through high school. Yeah. It didn't stick with me. He should it told me. me. <laughs> no, it <laughs> saved <laughs> me. I said that's why. That's why I, I was so able much. to be like, "No, my head is." Straight. There were so many people who were because telling us, "Like, don't do it." Don't once do it, the don't pastor, once Pastor John said that, I said, "Don't get, don't get into a relationship when you're in high school." I said, "Got it, sir." I got it. Or maybe they told me I didn't. No, remember. they definitely told you. I yeah. know going well. They said don't get it, but it's just like you see everybody going into it, and, and so it's very yeah. easy to fall. But once again, there's grace for everybody. Yeah. Grace, God loves you no matter where you are. You're not too far gone. Mm-hmm. You can return back home. He's loving. So um, that's a great topic. I mean, there's probably much more we can say, this, but this can go on. There's, and there's on. definitely there's gonna, gonna be, be a more part topics. two. I think we should do a part two. Yeah, I think we should maybe too. talking about the, we'll the porn, the porn addiction yeah. and masturbation and put the likes all that up stuff. if you want us to do that. Mommy, okay, I'm we need some likes. You didn't even if you talk want about anything. What did you say? You didn't even say anything. You are talking as if you exposed it. So you didn't expose anything. No, don't worry. Don't worry. You give them a taste. Anyway, don't end off like that because people are gonna be like, "Whoa, Nana no. just lied about the no, whole episode." He's not, not, no, I'm <laughs> saying like obviously everybody has more to them. It's not the whole thing, but. That is all for today. I am going to say the link for... I don't know why I'm acting like a... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> don't forget to follow us on the Juxtaposition Podcast underscore. That is our Instagram. We have Twitter, the Jux yes. Podcast. Yeah, it's, we it's, are... It's, we're, we're, it's rolling out yeah, a little bit rolling, by little. Trust me. All right? Follow. And yes. also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you share, please. Even if share, it just... Yes. It, it touched one part of you. Even if it, it's a clip, you know? Just a little snippet of it. Yeah. Share it to somebody so they can get encouraged. Um, subscribe, that, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Tell your best friends and family that this world. is the best podcast in the city. Yeah, we saying it. The world, not the city. We, the world. I was being humble, but okay. As you said, the world. Yep. We world. are the Juxtaposition Global. Podcast. Don't forget that name. It may be a tongue twister, the but we are the Juxtaposition Podcast where Christ meets culture. And we will be back next week. Same Get time. It. All right. See you guys. Have a blessed week and we out. Bye.